Hey y'all, hey. Let's jump right into it and get into this no so clutch. Here it is. So matchy matchy, isn't that cute? You just be out and about, chilling, matchy matchy. Um, some of y'all saw my pink goes red clutch that I made from a t-shirt. This actually inspired that clutch. I made this first last week and um, when my t-shirt came and didn't fit, I was like, hmm, I could probably make a clutch into that. So let's get with the materials that you need and we can get it together. Once again, this is a no sew. If you want to use your sewing machine or thread a needle, you can, hey, go for it, even better. But that's not what I do. That is not my lane. So we're going to, we're going to do this. So first of all, what you're going to need, you're going to need your pin. So this pin actually came in the February 2017 Ivy Box with this material. So you're going to need your pin if you want to, if you want to use it. If not, you can go anywhere. You probably have something around the house that you could use as a cutesy little, I don't know what this is called, decal, button, closure, whatever, decor, decoration, um, just to put on here. And then you don't even have to use anything on here. I debated a long time whether I wanted to use this or not, but I knew I was never going to wear the pin, so I was like, might as well put it on the clutch. So you're going to need that. Of course, you're going to need your fabric. Do, do, do. Make sure you iron your fabric in advance um, so it'll be all wrinkle-free on your clutch you're going to need some binder clips or some kind of clips or clothes pins anything that you have here's the thing about with my diy stuff i try to use stuff that is that you have around the house and not stuff you have to go out and buy because that's annoying kind of defeats the purpose to me some of some of doing things diy you're going to need some scissors this is fabric so i'm going to use you will see my pink and green scissors hobby lobby um I'm going to use my good, I don't know, these Fiskars? Yes, my good Fisker shears for my fabric. And, of course, I'm going to use my favorite fabric tack to, to make the clutch. But here's the thing. You need a base for your um, clutch. And I like to see everybody's face when I tell them that. And the base for this clutch and that pink goes red clutch is a placemat. This is a plastic placemat. I actually bought some for my dining room table. So I have eight of them. They, they've just been in the drawer for like over a year. And this is the base for the clutch. I ordered them from Amazon. They were like $5 for eight. You can go to any Walmart, Target, any of those kind of stores and pick some up. Uh, let's see what size these are. These are hmm, this is almost 12 inches. So this is like 11 and a half by 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like 17 inches. You can get whatever size you want, you guys. This is the best thing about DIY, you do you. But this right here is actually the perfect size for the cloth because it fits perfectly. You're not gonna have to do any extra cutting or measuring. It's a couple of cuts and you're done. So I think that is all you need. What I'm gonna do now is get the camera off of me and I'm gonna focus it down here on the counter so you can see exactly what I'm doing. One last thing I forgot to tell y'all to get was Velcro. Um, that's how I closed the clutch. <laughs> I had this Velcro laying around. Um, when I run out of this, because I bought fabric to make more clutches, I'm gonna go get the round Velcro, the cutesy round Velcro that they have at the craft stores. They also have actually the, the closures, the magnetic closures that you can put here. I knew for this clutch and the other clutch and a couple other clutches I wanna make, I would not be carrying those often, like really one, two times, you know, two, one or two times a year. But for a couple of them that I wanna make that I know I will carry more than that, I'm going to do the magnetic closures. And those are just, really easy to um, put on. So anyway, the first thing that you have to decide that what you want to do is your your fabric, your fabric pattern. So on this fabric pattern, I loved, loved, loved the squares. So I wanted my squares to be here at the top of my bag. That's just what I wanted. I ain't want no triangles. <laughs> um, so I decided to cut it this way. And, but if you want your fabric to be, you know, to go up and down, you're more than welcome to do it that way. 
I knew I was probably going to make, I was going to try and make two more clutches. So I'm going to just keep going with my fabric the same way so I can maybe get two more clutches out of this. I might be nice and, and do a giveaway or something. So since we're going to keep it like that, basically for these clutches, we, we want to, for our inside, because when you open it up, when you open up the inside of the clutch, it's lined with the fabric. So we need to line our um, the front of our placemat with a piece of fabric, and then we're going to cut another piece of fabric just to, you know, cover the back of the placemat. And those are really going to be your only <laughs> your only two cuts, and that's all you need to make a clutch. So, um, let me get my ruler for some of y'all. I'm probably so I'm just laying down my placemat. I'm leaving enough room on the edge for me to fold the fabric over. Um, so let's, I like this amount. It looks good to me. That's about almost three fourths of an inch. So I'm gonna keep it like that. So I'm gonna make my first cut that way. And you can measure over here. I'm just eyeballing it. Cause this part doesn't need to be perfect. We're just folding it on the inside. So no, nobody will see it except for you or nosy people that want to look inside your purse. So that's the first cut. The second cut, we just really need for it to actually cover this part. So we're gonna go to the very edge of the cloth and then we're gonna cut it on this edge. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can for y'all. And then you'll be like me and you'll be like, oh my God, that was so easy. And then you're going to start looking for fabrics and oh my goodness. And y'all know me. I'm like, ha ha. I can even personalize a clutch with my name on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to take our fabric tack. I need a paper towel. This, this likes to bubble up on me sometimes. All right. So I'm going to start at the bottom, or you start at the top. Anyway, we're just going to put glue all over here, and we are going to cover it up with this. The one that fits. Look at my glue not wanting to come out. Come on, glue, we need you. And like I said, y'all, this does not have to be perfect. This fabric tack is amazing. This is just going to be the lining, so I just kind of put glue here and there. And let's see, do I want the yeah, I'm gonna line it up with the the top. Just gonna line the top and the bottom. Let me think about that. Because this part is gonna go up. That's fine, because I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay, so We glue that part. I'm going to bring this back down and glue the second half. I think I need to, there we go, cut a hole in this. Or oh, I'm running out. Let me scoot over now. Um, all right. I'm going to do that. No need to wait for it to dry. I'm going to cut off. Gonna cut off the edge y'all y'all see me thinking trying to remember how I, I did this this one was much easier than the t-shirt the t-shirt you know it's t-shirt material so it's a little stretchy and then the placement of the pink goes red I'm trying to get that perfect on the um, bottom of that clutch is a little was a little tricky a little trickery going on Okay, so this right here is going to be the top of the clutch, and I love this. Can y'all see this? I hope y'all can't, because I used the part that was lined, so when you open your clutch, it does look a little fancy, maybe like you want it, because it is, that's where the seam is. I should say not lined, but the seam. So we're going to keep it that way. So we are going to put this in the middle, and all we are going to do... Oh, excuse me, just cut this corner right here because we're going to just fold over. So I just cut that right here 
And I'm gonna cut this right here to make a square. Uh-oh. To make a square like that. And that's gonna be easy for when we fold it over. So I'm gonna do that to this corner. Boop. Boop. That corner. See, do I wanna... I don't know if I wanna cut the edges off. I'm not gonna do the top because I like the look of the fold that that because this is gonna be the top of my bag. Oh, it's gonna be triangles at the top of this bag. Let me, let me. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so let's line this back up down here. Um, y'all know I'm I'm a little OCD ish when it comes to stuff. So what now? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue this around but for some reason I feel like I need to glue this part first don't ask me why but I'm gonna go with my gut go with your gut always go with your gut so I got one boom I'm gonna do one more so I did two lines and we're just gonna pull that over and make sure you you're kind of pulling it a little bit to the end In this fabric tag, fabric you can just roll it. If it gets on your fingers, you can just roll it right on off. And if it gets on the fabric, you can just rub the fabric and it comes right on off. Okay, there's that side. And you will need to add some up here. I like to do the corners. So they say, kind of want to do this a little neat neatly so i just line that up right here i hope y'all can see that i'll do it this side from right here so now what i'm doing i'm just pulling the fabric a little bit to make sure that it's that it's on there i hate when this bottle does that but we don't waste we don't waste things so i just drag it along so there's one take it all the way to the end there's two it all the way in we're gonna fold it as we're as we fold it we want to pull it a little bit to make sure that we're that it's tight and that the other side is gonna be straight because that's what we really care about we don't care about the lining we want to make sure the other side is tight roll this off my fingers because I'm getting messy all right all right. Uh oh. I'm gonna line this up a little bit better because that's gonna be showing at the top. So just make sure your seams are lined up. Even if see how that wrinkled right there, that's okay because I'm gonna we're gonna fold that down. So back to uh, the bottom, we're just gonna do the same thing. One line, two lines. I'm gonna pull that up, pull that up, pull that up. Same over here. I don't know, what is the drawing time on here? Washable after 24 hours, pre-wash, okay. Okay. I was wondering if you were supposed to like let this sit for a certain amount of time. I never do. It's kind of like once it's tacked, once it's on there, it's on there. You're not able to move it. And then we're going to fold this down. We want this to be a little neat because this is going to be the top of our clutch. And when you open your clutch, people will see because people are nosy. Okay, let's make sure we get this end right here. We really want to put some on the end. Don't be heavy-handed like me, y'all. Look at all that extra mess. We're going to fold that over. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to pull. Make sure. We really want to make sure the top is straight because that's the part that's going to be shown. Listen, we halfway done. Half the battle is done. I'm gonna line that up. 
All right. So this is what you should have so far. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this is a placemat wrapped in fabric. Remember that. Okay, so from here, now you want to decide how you want to design your clutch. So you may want your, okay, so here I chose my clutch to, for the top to come down this far. And that gave me that much room. You can do what you want to do. If you want to do it like three closer down to the bottom, which, ooh, that's kind of cute. If you want the bottom, you know, to be up here and right here, you want a bigger clutch, that's cute too. Y'all, you do you. The, the options are endless. But I think this one, I'm going to go. I'm going to do the almost... The almost even like oh like down here so it'll look like that if y'all wanted to make it a little easier I think I did this the first time I took my iron once I figured out where I wanted to fold it and I kind of just held my iron on um, and then I realized I didn't really want the top to be closed but I did want the bottom so if you want to like iron just to make sure that you know where you're going so now once you figure out where you want your fold to be try to make I don't know why I'm over there try to line this up as straight as you can and then we're going to grab our clips our binder clips close pins whatever clips you want and I'm going to clip one side so to make sure it's straight I'm gonna just use two clips so from here the next thing that we want to do is glue the sides together and we want to, this to be a little bit neat because this is this part right here that's showing and I'm trying to stick my finger here y'all and it's not going in there like this fabric tack is everything so you don't want to go too close to the edge because it's going to bleed out a little bit lesson learned I'm probably too close right now, but um, I'm just making sure I know where I need to stop. I'm going to do two lines again, and then I'm going to go over here at the top because we want to make sure that, yes, we want to make sure that is lined up straight as we can, and then we're just going to mash it together. From there, we're gonna get some more binder clips because we really do want this part to like stay, stay, stay for life. So I'm just putting the binder clips near the edge because I really want the edges to be smashed together because what we don't need is to be out and about and the clutch just fall apart and all our contents hit the floor. That's no bueno. And then you're just gonna repeat on the other side the same thing that we just did we really want this to be I don't have enough binder clips to do all that on the other side I just measured I just moved that down to make sure I was going far enough to the top and then we're gonna take it to the top over here because we really want this to be laid down and this should be just mm -mm, stuck my finger in it should line up automatically pretty even yes if not just move it over mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we almost done is that my nail okay I'm gonna add our binder clips and when it's time to take these off whatever you feel like it's dry you just kind of want to rub your finger on the edge to see if you could if it's like any holes or anything in there and then you just want to Kind of stick the nozzle in here and get all the empty spaces, but you really want to make sure the sides are 
our uh, closed. Okay, so that's that. So the next thing that we want to do is our closure. Like I said, I had, I had this Velcro already. I did a long piece like this. This is the double sided. So we're gonna just stick, stick it on here. We're gonna fold this on down and let it stick itself right there. Let's see, did I do fabric tag? I think I did fabric tag. And we want, you want the uh, rough side to go up here. So let's pull some fabric tick on this part. Like I said, y'all can go make it, you know, they have a little round Velcro, little sticker dot things, you know, at the store, but I'm going to use what I have. So I'm going to put this kind of center-ish like this is the inside of your purse if people are looking you know at this then they deserve to see i always say if people try to get that close they deserve to see all your imperfections and then i'm going to do like this the fabric tag and i'm going to carefully Carefully, let me move these out the way real quick. I'm gonna unclip these so I can make sure I'm folding it, it down as far as I want it and as even as I want it. E no, yes, there we go. I don't think that's even either, but that's gonna work. So now I'm gonna just binder clip that on top. Binder clip this right here. I think I put my iron. <laughs> I put my iron on this to hold it down. Let's see, what do I have? Oh, I have this wonderful little bowl. And I'm just gonna weigh, weigh that down, that piece of Velcro down. And I will, I'm gonna let this dry probably for like 15 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll finish it up. Everything dried. I took my, uh, my bowl and my binder clips off the side. But what I did off camera, this video was a little long already so I didn't wanna do this. I added some bias tape, some, I grabbed the packaging, some Sewology Extra Wide Double Fold, double fold Bias Tape. It's half an inch. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It comes in a plethora of colors. <laughs> and it even comes in glitter. Y'all know how I feel about glitter. So this is just black, ivory, pink. Um, it is $219. Use your 40% coupon. 40% um, off coupon. You do the math. Um, so what I did was I just, and it's really like double fold. It's like a trim. So you just open it like so. And all I did was put that on the edge, you know, the flap of my clutch. You just put it on the bottom and the front and um, I use my fabric tag. So that's, <laughs> and that's cute y'all. Now, you know, I'm a little extra, I'm hashtag team extra. So I am going to find some kind of embellishment to put right here. If I had another one of those, I would stick it right here, but this is the clutch. It's super duper cute. It's still roomy to me because I don't take much when I go out, you know, keys, ID, card, cash, if I, if I have it, some lip gloss and I'm good to go. Um, what you really want to do when you get done is make sure this extra glue that's hanging out and I always just like to run, see there's like a little bit of a hole right there. I like to run my fingers down. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of open that back up and put some more glue in there and you know, put my binder clip on it to make sure the edges are, you know, really, really put together. That's the one thing that I do double check. But that's it, that's another clutch. That whole wrap cloth thing from the Ivy Box made two clutches. 
I don't think that'll make three. I thought I was going to get three out of it. No, because that's the only thing that's left. So, of course, I have to find something to do with that. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope um, you can start making your clutches out of whatever fabric you want. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Email me, message me, hit me up on Facebook, on Instagram. You know, y'all know I'll be on the gram all the time. And, um... Yeah, I hope to see your clutches. Um, yeah. <laughs>